I'm rich. Eh, just kidding. I'm Akira Kanaji, 28 years old. My father owns the Kanaji Corporation, which controls related companies such as convenience stores, supermarkets, and department stores, spread all across the country. Ah, uh, life is too easy. I'm an easygoing second son. I don't have to work because I got a lot of dividends from stocks. After graduating from university, I'm spending my time as I please. Like going on trips and spending time at my vacation home. Like I am now. The shining sun that stretches into the horizon. And the beautiful deep ocean. And I have it all to myself. Isn't this the greatest? That was only on the first day that I felt like that. I thought I'd come and spend some time alone at the villa, but... I'm bored. What's that black thing floating? What? A bikini? When I looked beyond the floating bikini, I saw a woman. Please help me. I'm coming right now! I ran towards the woman in the sea with bikini in hand. Here you are. Th thank you so much. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm still facing you. I'll try to turn my back so you can put it on. Sorry. Please, use this towel. Thank you so much for helping me. Even so, I was surprised. It's a private beach, so outsiders rarely come. It is quite far from the beach I was on. I was on a float mat at the beach, and it felt so good that I fell asleep, and before I knew it, I drifted far away. Ah, uh, I see. In a hurry to get back, I was rowing with my hands, but I hit a rock, made a hole in my mat, and sank. When I tried to swim to the shore, I was swept away by a big wave and my bikini was washed away. What can I say? It's just bad luck. Yes. Where are you staying? Can I give you a ride back to your hotel? Uh, well, I actually don't have a place to stay at. You haven't booked a room anywhere? It takes three hours by ferry from the main island to come to Nanakuma Island. There are some day trip tourists but most stay overnight. Actually, I came to stay with a friend and she became friends with the guy who was hitting on her, so I ended up leaving the hotel as I didn't feel comfortable staying there. Where's your luggage? I left it at the front desk. Two ferries travel to and from the island a day. Today's ferries have already left. Then, would you like to stay at my place? Huh? Are you sure? Even though it's summer, I can't let you sleep outside, and luckily, we have extra rooms anyways. I'm sorry. I appreciate your help. Um, my name is Tamaki Sakasaka. Nice to meet you. Granny? Yes. What is it, young master? Who? Who is this young lady? Uh, hello? Her name is Tamaki Sakisaka. I found her in trouble after she lost her swimsuit, so I decided to help her. As expected of young master, you're so kind. Will you show her to the bathroom? Also, can you find her a change of clothes? Not a problem. Follow me, Miss Sakisaka. Oh, okay. Um, thank you so much for the bath and the change of clothes. You didn't have to do all this for me. No problem. Well then, Grandpa, can you pull the car out front? Right away, young master! Miss Sakisaka? This way, please. Th thank you. Um, I haven't asked you your name yet, have I? Don't worry about my name. Are you staying at Nanakuma Inn? Yes. Your house is very nice. Do you live here alone? That was my family's vacation home. And I was just here to spend some time. I see. We have arrived. Well then, I'll be waiting here for you. So meet us back here after you collect your luggage. Got it. I'll be back soon. Sorry, I came to pick up my luggage that I left here. Huh? But today's fairies have already left. Actually, I'm staying at a friend's house, so... Could it be Kanaji's? His name is Kanaji? Don't you know Akira Kanaji? One of the sons of the Kanaji Corporation. Is that so? You'd better be careful. Rumor has it that Akira is playing around with his money. 
You may be trying to get close to him for his money, but he'll probably just play you and leave you. Thanks for the warning, but he helped me, so I don't think he's a bad person. Sorry for taking so long and keeping you all waiting. Well, let's go. Thank you for the meal, too. Well, it was a little lonely to eat alone, so it's nice to have you join me. Granny, please show Sakisaka-san to the guest room. Understood, young master. Well then, Miss Sakisaka, just follow me. Okay. This will be your room for the night. If there's anything you need, you can use that phone that will connect you with one of our employees. Excuse me? The man who helped me is Akira Kanaji, right? Yes, that's right. I heard that he's the heir of the Kanaji Corporation, but why didn't he tell me about it? Well, it isn't my place to speak on his behalf. I see. Is there anything else you need help with? No, thank you very much for your help. Well then, please have a good night's sleep. That night, I woke up to the sound of my bed creaking. Huh? What? When I opened my eyes, Saki Sakasan was straddling my body on the bed. Saki Sakasan? Let me repay you with my body. What? That very moment. <gasps> I pushed her down with both my hands and grabbed her wrists. What are you planning to do? I just wanted to thank you for your help. You knew that I was the heir to the Kanaji Corporation and came here with ulterior motives, right? I found out at the hotel. I've already investigated you. What? Yes, young master! Tamaki Sakisaka is the daughter of the president of Sakisaka Products Co. Limited, a subcontractor of Kanaji Corporation. It seems that your older brother, Shuichi, planned this on your father's behalf, young master. My father was dissatisfied with me being lazy and not doing much with my life, so he's trying to get me married to maintain appearances. But since I refuse to let him set me up with someone, he's turned to my older brother to deal with me. Saki Sakasan, I have no intention of dating or marrying you. Too bad for you. Kanaji-san, I'm sorry for deceiving you. But this was the only way that I could help my father. Her mother is the acting president as her father has been hospitalized for a long period of time. It seems like the company management was quite bad. So, what did my brother offer her? It seems like if she was able to steal your heart, he would provide a million dollars in funding to Sakisaka Products Co. Limited. Ah, just as I suspected. Please, Kanaji-san, please save my father and his company. And how will that benefit me? Then please, just buy me for my services. Why would you go so far? If my father's company goes bankrupt, not only our family, but also our valued employees who see us as family will suffer. I want to save everyone, no matter what it takes. So, how much do you want? Um, $10,000 a month, or something like that. Grandpa? Yes, young master? Bring me the contract. Here you go, young master! That fast? Sign here. I'll buy you. R really What? Getting cold feet? You're the one who wanted it. I know. I'm prepared for anything. Sorry for calling you in the middle of the night, Grandpa. Good work. Have a good night, young master! Well, then. Let's get to work. Right away. Yes. Well then, take it off. Uh, right now? What? So now you don't want to sell your body? Of course I will. Well then, here you go. This maid costume... Are you interested in that kind of thing? Don't be stupid. I'm going to use you as a maid from now on, so be prepared. Huh? A maid? Lately, Granny has been having back pain, so work hard for her sake. Oh, so when you said you were going to buy my body... Right. Use your body and work hard. Now go to bed, because you have an early start tomorrow. Yes, sir. This is how I ended up working as a maid under Akira-sama. Granny, I finished cleaning the windows. What should I do next? 
My job has been so much easier since you came. Thank you for that. Let's take a break. Do you always work here? No, my husband and I work exclusively for Young Master, so we follow him wherever he goes. Oh, that must be hard. No, the Young Master is very kind and considerate. He always takes care of us. Oh, I thought he was just pretending to be nice, and finally showed his true self when he found out who I was, but... Granny! How many times do I have to tell you that I'll do the heavy lifting? You're gonna hurt your back again like that! Okay, okay! Thank you very much! Grandpa! You're gonna fall off the tree one of these days! How many times do I have to tell you that I've hired a professional to prune the trees? My apologies, young master! I was worried about the branches of the tree sticking out! Then I'll do it! As I observed Akira-sama, I began to think that he might be a kind person. In addition... Again? Akira-sama was at his computer until late every night. I don't know what he's doing, but it doesn't look like he's playing. Tamaki! Oh, Akira-sama! Your work time is over, isn't it? Hurry up and get some rest! Yes, please excuse me. Even after I tried to deceive Akira-sama, he was kind to me. He didn't even touch me, and as he promised, he even paid me a salary of 10000 a month, which I'm able to send back home. One day... Yes, this is the Kanaji residence. Is Akira home? We came here to play! Party! Let's go! Akira-sama wasn't home, but I was told that they were friends of his and had an appointment to play with him, so I let him in. This way, please. Who are you? I work here as a maid. Yeah, right. You're just trying to get married into money, aren't you? Aren't you talking about yourself right now? Anyone who marries Akira won't have to work and will be able to play all day. Who doesn't want that? Oh, I found some new wine! Let's drink! Hey, maid! Bring us some snacks! Oh, yes. I heard that these people were friends with Akira-sama, so I let them in, but I have a bad feeling about this. I was shocked when I came back. Why are you guys here? Yo, Akira! We've come to play! Hey, Akira! Take me on a trip! Let's go waste some money! What's up with that? I thought we were friends. You guys aren't friends! You guys called me an ATM! Well, at least you're needed as an ATM, right? I don't think you're an ATM, Akira. I love you. Stop pouting, and let's have some fun like usual. You've got more than you can spend. That's enough! It? Tamaki? You are not friends! You all are parasites! What did you say?! How dare a maid speak to us like that! Stop right there! If you hurt Tamaki, you're gonna regret it. Grandpa? Yes, young master! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a car ready for you! No, we're still... You were saying? I mean, we're leaving. Those guys, we've been childhood friends since elementary school, and we went to college together. I always thought those guys were my friends, but I was just their wallet all this time. Those guys, I just about had it with them. The only thing they care about is my money. They're parasites, just as you said, Tamaki. Good riddance to them. Thank you. I'm also a parasite that's taking advantage of you, aren't I? But you provide me with your services, right? Yes, but $10,000 a month is way too much. But I ended up taking it because I wanted to help my father's company. I've decided to purchase your father's company. What? Don't worry. Although I'm the owner, the president has not changed, and I've not fired any employees. Really? I'll be making changes on how the company is run, though. As is, the company won't be able to grow. Thank you so much, Akira-sama! That's why you don't have to call me Akira-sama anymore. And you don't have to work here as a maid. What? You're the victim who was used by my father and brother. I'm sorry. 
But if I'm gone, what happens to Granny? I'll hire a new maid, so there'll be no problem. Tamaki, you're free now. I don't want that. What? Please, let me stay here as a maid. Now that my father's company is saved, I don't need a salary anymore. What are you saying? I want to be by your side. Please, allow me to continue to be by your side as your maid. That's a no. I want you to be by my side, not as a maid, but as my girlfriend. Akira-sama. You said you didn't need money and wanted to be by my side. I didn't want to fall for my father and brother's tricks, so I held back with the intention of returning you to my father without falling for you. But I can't stop my feelings anymore. Please, let me be with you as your lover. Of course. I'll never let you go. Young master, I'm so happy for you. Yes, truly. Despite how it started, I was able to find true love. After acquiring her father's company, I managed to make it better. I won't rely on my brother or father anymore. I will become independent with the love of my life by my side. Ugh. Today was exhausting. That's me, Hajime Takenaka, 21 years old. I'm working at a sweatshop called Rokutora Kogyo. The bath is the only relaxation time. I want to quit my job, but I know I can't. I finally got a job in a Tokyo company after graduating from a rural high school. I have to send money home because I have three younger brothers and a single parent. Living on the edge, I can't even drink alcohol. And I don't have any particular hobbies. What is my life, I wonder? Until the first year of high school, it was fun. Despite having a useless father, I lived happily with my family. And then, there was Saya. At that moment, the bath door suddenly opened with a bang! Let's take a bath! What?! I said in surprise, not only because a woman suddenly entered the bath. Hey, Hajime. Saya? The reason I was surprised was that this wasn't just any woman, it was my childhood friend, Saya Kawashima, whom I'd been thinking about. We grew up surrounded by mountains and rivers in a nature-rich countryside. First, it's Saya's turn! Yay! Saya. Grandma. What are you doing? You are the daughter of the Shiraishi family. We're going home. But... I won't tolerate back talk. Yes. Saya. In middle school, I gradually began to understand more about my own house and Saya's house. Saya is the daughter of a prestigious family, so she has a good upbringing. In comparison, Takitaka's family... I know. My old man got addicted to gambling, and we're poor. It doesn't match up with her family. Oh, hello. You two are always so close. That's good. Hajime, don't mind it. Let's go. Yep. Regardless of what anyone says, if Saya doesn't mind, and is willing to stay by my side, that's all that matters. A turning point came for me in my first year of high school. My father died. It turned out that my father had considerable debts. Although, you don't have an obligation to pay. I was co-signed for the loans. Is that true? So, Saya's grandma offered financial assistance, and we were able to repay the debts. Huh? Saya's grandma? I thought she didn't like me. But maybe she's a good person after all. So, I was told not to get close to you by Saya. Huh? I'm sorry, but after receiving financial assistance, I couldn't refuse. Uh, I see. I understand. Although I told my mom that, since Saya and I went to the same high school, I'd been meeting her in secret without her knowing anything about it. But I could only do that until high school. I'm sorry I couldn't provide for your university expenses, even though we managed to repay the debts. 
Don't worry about me. But you have things you want to study at university, right? Could you manage to go to university if you took out a student loan? It's fine. I don't have any job prospects here. So after graduating from high school, I'll move to Tokyo and find a job. Hajime... If I find a company with dorms, living expenses won't be that much, and I'll be able to send some money back home. But... There are still three growing boys at home. It's too hard for you alone to support them, right? I'm sorry for burdening you like this, Hajime. Thank you so much. After graduation, I'll work in Tokyo. If that happens, I'll go to Tokyo too. Your parents would never allow that. My parents might allow me to go to university in Tokyo if I persuade them, but Grandma... Yeah, I understand. Even if I go to Tokyo, I'll come back during breaks. Promise me. I promise. And this is how I left the hometown. Make sure to come back. I've always... Wait, if you say more, it'll be difficult for me. Ugh. <sighs> I promise to come and see you again. Goodbye. Hajime. Saya, I love you. I'll do my best to become a proper working adult so that your grandma will approve of me. It was the last day I saw her. Since then, I haven't been able to go see her. What are you doing here? It's obvious. I came to become your bride. Are you drunk? I'm not drunk. That's a line from someone who's drunk! It's dangerous! Get out! No! I'm taking a bath with you! No! Oh boy, you're acting like a spoiled child! It's the first time I've seen Saya drunk. Well, it's obvious since the last time I saw her like this was when she was 18. Hey, Hajime, seeing me like this doesn't make you feel anything? Am I not attractive as a woman? Uh, seeing her naked, there's no way I wouldn't feel desire, because I love her, but how much did you drink? It's fine because it's me, but you can't dress like that in front of other guys. Come on, get dressed. You idiot! Idiot, idiot, idiot! Hey, what are you doing? You said you'd come back on your days off. I was going to- Three years? Yeah. I tried calling, but you didn't answer at all. I'm sorry. Did you never think about me at all? I thought about you every day. Even if I wanted to go to Tokyo, I couldn't because I was stopped. I am fed up with it. I'm so sorry. I hate you so much. I understand. Are you asleep? I hope you can come to dislike me. All right, you're sound asleep. I really don't want to, but maybe it's best to contact Saya's mother. Hello, uh... It's Hajime, right? Is Saya here? Yes, I'm sorry. It's not something you need to apologize for. I understand that she did this on her own. I'm sorry. I'll definitely take her back tomorrow. Actually, Granny is trying to force Saya into an engagement. What?! We've heard about this before, but Saya has always refused. Granny pushed things forcefully, and that's why Saya ran away from home. Is that so? I'm sorry to ask you this, but could you take care of Saya for a while? But... Saya has been devoted to you for so long. But you haven't visited Saya in these three years. It seems like you're not interested in Saya anymore, right? Well... If she understands that you don't like her, she might be able to give up on you. But... Oh, Granny is coming. I will tell her instead of that. Please, take care of her. I can't believe it. I didn't avoid meeting her on purpose. I was busy with work, even on weekends and struggled with just enough money for living expenses, making it impossible for me to visit her even if I wanted to. It's presumptuous of me, but I absolutely don't want to let Saya go to anyone else. But with my current situation, I can't make Saya happy. 
It's already 2 a.m. I should go to sleep. In the early hours of that day, I woke up under pressure. Hajime, are you sleeping? I guess it's about time. Huh? Oh no, you're awake! Oh, not- oh no, huh? What were you trying to do? Uh, I was thinking of creating a fate accompli. What are you thinking? Are you still drunk? I'm not drunk, I'm serious. If I don't do something like this, I'll be forcefully married to someone I don't like. Yeah, I heard from your mom. You talked to my mom? No matter what anyone says, I absolutely won't go back home. She asked if I could take care of you for a while. Really? She thinks I'm not interested in you, because I've been ignoring you for so long. So she wants me to make you give up on me. Is that true? Are you no longer interested in me, Hajime? That's not true. Do you still love me? Uh, I'm not suitable for you. Maybe it's better for you to give up on me and be happy with the arranged marriage her family has decided. Tell me the truth! I love you, Saya. Hajime... I love you. But that's why I can't be with you. I don't think you can be happy with me. I don't need a lavish life. My happiness is right here, in my heart. Being with you is my happiness. Saya... I don't need a luxurious life. Even if we're poor, it's fine. Are you sure? I don't want to cause you trouble. Even if it's tough, as long as you are with me, that's enough for me. Saya, I love you. I've loved you for a long time. I've prepared myself, so please accept everything about me. I really want to, but I have to maintain some sense of responsibility. Please. Wait a little longer. The reason I came here today is to seek your approval for my marriage with Saya. What? I love Saya, and I can't imagine a life without her. Grandma, Mom, please. I can't imagine being with anyone other than him. If you force me to marry someone else, I'll break ties with this family and elope with him. Are you really prepared for that? Yes! I have a single parent and a younger brother still in school, and our life is on the edge. I can't provide Saya with a comfortable life. Hajime... Even so, she said it's okay. She believes that being with me is her happiness. Yes. Your father was an irresponsible man, and I can't imagine letting Saya be with a man like him. So that was the reason she hated me. I investigated you. After graduating from high school, you moved to Tokyo for work. You sent money every month to support your family and worked tirelessly, not even having time for yourself, let alone gambling. Yes. Do you have the confidence to continue loving her for the rest of your life? Yes. Saya, can you still smile even in a poor life? Even then, can you say you're happy? As long as I have him, that alone makes me happy. Understood. Let's approve of their marriage. Thank you, Grandma. Huh? Marriage? Do you have the determination to get married, I assume? Of course. That's right. I never expected you to consent to marriage without even going through the process of dating. There are conditions for the marriage. Yes? I've learned that the company you work for, Rokotora Kogyo, is quite a sweatshop. Yes, that's true. So, we've decided to acquire Rokotora Kogyo. What? As the new president, you will reform Rokotora Kogyo under the name Siraishi Industries. Me? The new president? Whether the company goes under or prospers depends on your abilities and efforts. Are you prepared for that? Yes! I'll do my best! Well then, after getting married, we don't have to live in this house? You don't have the right to settle in your parents' house and rely on them. A married couple experiences hardships together. Yes! 
Then, let's start preparing for the wedding right away. Sure, we'll do that. And so, I officially prepared the wedding with her. I may have caused you a lot of trouble, but I am so glad you're marrying her. Thank you, Mom. Hajime, let's get started. I'm coming! Let's become a happy wife and husband. That's right. There may be challenges ahead, but with Saya by my side, I can overcome anything. I'll be happy as long as Saya walks beside me. My name is Masahiro Suzunami. I'm 25. I work at Natsuru Products Trading Company. Uh, yes? Well, this was the first time the CEO contacted me. I had no idea why since we had never met. Hello, uh, Suzunami here? Hey, Suzunami-kun! I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, can you come to the CEO's office now? Sure, I'll be right there. Uh, excuse me? Hey, Suzunami-kun! Come on in! Hello, uh, what can I do for you? Why don't you sit next to me? Uh, sure. This is one of our clients, Yokai-san. He owns Yokai Livings. A pleasure to meet you, Suzunami-kun. Hello, I'm honored to meet you. Uh, he introduced me to a client. What's this about? I asked some of my employees and they all told me you were modest and sincere. They put a lot of trust in you. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Well, I wanted to ask if you'd be willing to take care of my daughters. They have no mother and I have no idea how to handle them. It'll be a bit of a hassle for you. You'll have to come live with us. Will that be okay? Of course. This won't be volunteer work. I will pay you monthly if you agree to come. What? This is twice my monthly pay. My siblings still go to school. I send money to my family every month. They won't have anything to worry about if I get this job. I appreciate the offer. I'll do my best. Thank you, Suzunami-kun. You're a good man. Yokai-san explained how everything will go. On my first day, I stood in front of his house and prepared myself. I knew it would be big, but this is beyond my expectations. I'm just an ordinary office worker. Why didn't he hire a professional to do the job? Suzunami-sama, we have been waiting for you. Please, come in. Thanks. This is a drawing room. Everybody is waiting for you inside. Uh, thank you very much. I didn't hear any of the kids' voices. Maybe it's because they are brought up to be proper. Gosh, it's a huge difference from my family. Yokoi-sama, Suzunami-sama has arrived. Thank you. Ah, welcome. These are my daughters. The oldest is Mimi. The one in the middle is Mimi, and the youngest is Momo. They're nice girls. Hope you get along. Huh? Uh, sir, I thought I would be living here as a babysitter. Mimi is 27, Mimi is 25, and Momo is 23. They're about your age. I'm sure you'll get along. Oh, I live in a different house, but you can call me if you ever need help with anything. Huh? Yokai-san, you don't live here at all? But I'm a male adult. Wouldn't it cause problems if I live with your daughters? Suzunami-kun, do you have a girlfriend right now? No, I'm single. And I don't see a problem with it. No, even if I'm single, it's just... It's okay. That is why I chose you. I wouldn't have asked you to come if I thought you were untrustworthy. I believe in you, Suzunami-kun. But still, I'm a... I pampered my daughters too much because they didn't have a mother. I sent them to an old girls' school from kindergarten to university. They have no uh, experience interacting with the opposite gender. But they're adults now. Um, I see. That's why I want you to live with them. They ought to get used to being around men now that they are in their 20s. Um, how do your daughters feel about me moving in? Well, I obey whatever father decides for me. I don't care. I'll live my life however I want to, no matter who lives here. Suzunami-san! What's your name? Uh, it's Masahiro. Okay, I'll call you Masahiro Oni-chan then. I've always wanted an older brother. This is great! I'm looking forward to this! Thank you, I hope we get along. I'm glad you guys are already getting along. I'll get going now. Wait, um, how long is my employment duration? I can't live here forever. I'll have to move out someday. 
What do you think, girls? I think it's a good idea to decide how long he will be staying here. We'll be more motivated with a deadline. That will allow us to get faster results. I don't have an opinion on the topic. Well, I want Mashiro Nichan to stay here forever. I see. How about this? We end this if any of you start feeling uncomfortable living with me. If things go well, I can stay for a year. Does that sound okay for everyone? Yes, yeah, sounds like a good plan. And so, that's how I started living with the three beautiful sisters. Momo-chan was friendly from the start. She's easy to talk to, and we started to get along right off the bat. Mashiro Oni-chan, I'll show you my room. Come. Thank you. Whoa, you've got a bunch of clothes and handbags. No, I'm a model. I live for fashion. No, it's from a friend. My friends and I are always texting each other whenever we're apart. I see you have many friends. Yep, but Mashiro Oni-chan, you're not. Huh? I mean, you're my Onichan now, right? Um, yes. I only have younger siblings, so I guess that wouldn't be anything new. Still, things between us might change shortly. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Living with you is going to be so much fun. Mashiro Onichan. Mimi-san never went out of her way to talk to me. However, she never avoided having a conversation when I approached her. So, are you getting ready to make dinner? I thought your housekeeper was in charge of that. She makes dinner whenever I'm busy with work. But I'm the one who usually cooks. Let me help you. You don't have to do that for me. Well, you guys are letting me live here. It's the least I can do. Besides, I've been cooking my whole life. I'm confident in my skills. Oh, is that so? Okay, well, you can be in charge of chopping the vegetables. Sure thing! Let me know if there's anything I can do. I used to make meals for my younger siblings. I have five. You're the oldest sibling of six children? That sounds pretty hectic. Yeah, it doesn't take much for a war to break out. They start wrestling and some of them start crying. They're a lot to handle. Even so, I adore them to bits. I understand that feeling. At times, I get so frustrated with my younger sisters, but... Exactly. I wish I could be as spoiled as them, but I'm the oldest. I have to stay reliable for my parents. I can never turn off that switch. I see. For us, my mother passed away. I have felt like it's my job to be the mother figure of this family since then. Mimi-san, they're lucky to have you. I hope that's true. I can tell that even my father relies on me to take care for them. I may be younger than you, but I'm the oldest in my family. Huh? So, I'll be the oldest brother starting now. You don't have to carry that burden anymore. <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? Well, kind of. Nobody has ever said that to me before. Well, I understand the pressure that the oldest sibling in the family feel. Yeah, it's a lot. That's why I think we should help each other. You don't have to do it alone anymore. Thank you. Mimi-san, on the other hand, wasn't easy to befriend. What? Um, I was hoping to spend some time getting to know each other now that I'm moving in with you. Why are you in such a hurry? We're in the same house. We'll have plenty of time to talk. That's true. Plus, Daddy doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. I've dated numerous guys. I'm not innocent and pure like Mimi. He may have plans for us, but it's all based on false facts. Anyways, you don't need to teach me how to have a conversation with a guy. You're getting paid for an easy job. Might as well enjoy the next year here. Well, I admit that I accepted this job because it pays well, but I take it seriously. That's why I want to get to know you. Hmm, okay, got it. I have a feeling Mimi-san is the loneliest person in this family. Oh, Mimi-san, good morning! Huh? Mashiro-san? I had no idea you were making breakfast. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'll make breakfast today. Oh, do you want some coffee? Um, yes, please. I need my sleep. Hey, I'll just take a cup of coffee. But Momo-chan, why don't you get dressed, huh? Oh, <laughs> am I making you uncomfortable? It's your first time seeing my PJs. I wore this for a shoot the other day. I had to buy it because it's so pretty. So, how do I look? Very nice. Momo, 
You can't dress like that in front of a guest. It's inappropriate. Mashiro Onichan is not a guest. It's okay. He's family now. And you need to eat breakfast. Coffee isn't going to get you through the day. I'll be fine. People give me food at the studio. Mimi Onichan, stop nagging me. Huh? You made breakfast, Mashiro Onichan? I would love some. I'm leaving. Huh? Nene, what about breakfast? I'm not hungry. I'll eat later. Oh, Nini-san. Just a second. Here, I didn't have time to make you an obento. But take this for when you do get hungry. Huh? You packed this for me? Yep. Oh, thanks. I'll take it. See you later. suzunami kun Hi, sir. Good morning. You don't have to be so formal. Anyways, how is living with the girls going? We're getting along so far. That being said, he wants me to take each daughter out on a date to teach them what it's like to date a guy. I know, it's insane. Gosh, I've always wanted to go on a date to Nanakuma Amusement Park. Is that... Uh... Mashiro Onichan, over there. I want a Nanakuma headband from the shop. Aw, Mashiro Onichan, you're adorable. Do I have to keep this on? For the whole day. Okay. Everyone walking by knew who Momo-chan was. It was like she was a celebrity. Wait, Momo-chan? Oh my gosh, I'm a fan. Can we take a photo together, please? Sir, come here. He's my Oni-chan. Wait, I didn't know you had an Oni-chan. I thought you only had sisters. <laughs> what if he's my boyfriend? Hey, Momo-chan, don't give them false information. Let's get on that next! You pick all the scary rides. I'm gonna puke! Fine. The Ferris wheel will be a nice break for you. You're getting a bunch of texts. Yeah, well, I'll check them later. Huh? You sure? I have many friends, and we always text each other. But sometimes, I wonder if any of them actually need me in their life. And I start to think, maybe it doesn't have to be me. It could be anybody. Uh, I think they like you because you're you, Momo-chan. Huh? Momo-chan, you've been a model since you were 13. And you've continued to keep your popularity for 10 years. I'm sure that's not all luck. There's something about you that draws people in. N no, it's because I'm good at handling people. I've been making connections using my communication skills. That's something you should hold pride in. Not everybody can do that. You really think so? Yeah. Mashiro Onichan, do you need me in your life too? Yes, of course I do. Does that mean you love me more than anybody in the whole world? What? I mean, you said you need me in your life. But I didn't mean it in a romantic way. Huh? You lied to me? I wasn't lying, but... That's good to hear. Uh, are you sure this is what you want? To go to a shopping mall? There's something I need to buy today. I appreciate you tackling along, Mashiro-san. This seems like something Momo would like. Maybe I'll get it for her. Mema never eats healthy, no matter what I say. She could use some of these supplements. Oh, here it is. I was planning to buy this for you, Mashiro-san. Huh? For me? You help me in the kitchen all the time, but I realize you don't have an apron yet. That's why I wanted to give you one. Thank you, but uh, I'll buy it myself. It's okay. To tell you the truth, I never enjoyed having to make meals for the girls. I did it because I had to. But recently, I've been having a great time cooking with you. So, I wanted to do something to thank you for that. You're not the only one who's enjoyed cooking together. I like the process, but I've always had to make it alone. And you have so many recipes I've never seen. I should be the one thanking you. Um, you don't have to raise your voice. Oh, my bad. I don't know how to say this. Um, I'm not used to receiving compliments. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, now I'm starting to feel embarrassed as well. So, um, can I give you a gift as well? Huh? How pretty. But I'm sure Momo would look better wearing this. Mimi-san, you're always in simple attire. But I've noticed you have an eye for pretty things. What? I'm sorry if I'm wrong. It's just, uh... That's my impression after watching you shop today. But I'm 
not the type of girl to dress up. It could be if you wanted to. I'm confident this will look great on you. I uh, wanted you to have this, but could you always put others before yourself? Thank you. Can you put it around my neck? Sure, I'm gonna need you to turn around then. Okay. There you go. I love it. Thank you so much. I'll treasure it. And I'll try not to get this apron dirty. I took Mimi-chan to a cafe for our date. What do you want? This place has really good Enocha. What is Enocha? It's popular in Hong Kong. It's a mixture of coffee and English tea. What? Coffee and tea? That's weird. Yeah, they add sugar and condensed milk. It sounds weird, but it's delicious. Okay, I guess I can try. Great! Whoa! Right? And this is such a nice cafe. It's fancy, but comfortable. I like the atmosphere. Hearing you say that means a lot to me. You see, I designed the interior of this place. Wait, seriously? Onet-chan has been working hard, since she'll eventually have to take over Dad's job. And Momo has been modeling for ten years. She already knows what she's doing. And then there's me. Nobody sees me because I have nothing to offer. That's not true. It's been like this my whole life. Daddy was always obsessed with Inechan's grades and behavior. And Momo has been the apple of his eye. She knows how to get his attention. He never had time to spend on me. He never saw me. I realize I shouldn't comment on how she felt. Even if I know it isn't true, telling her that won't change how she feels. She believes in her truth. It kind of messed with me. I started pretending I was fine with it. And I always try to satisfy people, even if it's not what I want. But that wasn't enough to compete against Anechan and Momo. That's when I knew I had to find something on my own. I see. That's when I found something to work hard for. Spatial designing. I admire your outlook on life, Mimi-san. You've accomplished and succeeded because you never gave up. You didn't let your pain defeat you. Oh, thank you. I see you, Mimi-chan. I want you to know that. There's not much I can do for you, but I hope my words will help you regain the confidence you deserve. Yeah. And so, my dates with the three sisters all ended. Suzunami-kun! Mashiro-kun! Mashiro-ni-chan! Yeah? Suzunami-kun, I like you. I want to be with you, Mashiro-kun. I want you to be my boyfriend instead of my Onichan. Wait, what? Huh? I, I want, want you, you to marry, marry me. me. What the? You can only have one. Pick me. No, pick me. What am I supposed to do? I came here thinking I would be babysitting children, but here I am, getting proposed to by three beautiful girls who happen to be sisters. Ah, uh, see. Thanks for watching over. Hmm. Who is Suzunami Kun going to pick? I <laughs> <sighs> can't believe I've been sent to buy toilet paper. It's the summer holidays. I have a right to do nothing. That's me there, Ayato Akasaka. I'm in my second year of Nanakuma High School. I can't believe Mom's made me buy four of these just because they're on sale. My hand is cramping. Here's your receipt and raffle ticket. A raffle ticket? Oh, for that one there. I hope you win. Thanks. So, the top prize is our resort holiday for two, and the second prize is 20 kilograms of rice. I definitely don't want that. No one ever wins anything of these anyway. I bet I'll get the tissues. Next place! Yep. You get one to go, it's all yours! Mmm, gold? Congratulations, you've won the top prize! What, seriously? Here are your two resort holiday tickets. Thanks. Enjoy your holiday with your girlfriend. Right. But I don't have a girlfriend. I've never had one. I'm home. Welcome home, Hayato. Thanks for the toilet paper. I just won two resort holiday tickets at the raffle. Do you want them? That's amazing. You don't want them? No. Don't you have a cute girlfriend? If I had, I wouldn't give these to you. What about you, Ichan? She's just a childhood friend. What about your friends? I don't want to go on some romantic getaway with a guy friend. Okay, well maybe I'll go with your dad. Oh no, I can't. 
Why not? It says it's only valid till the end of the month and it has to be a weekday. Both your father and I are super busy this month and won't be able to get leave. Oh, that's a shame. I guess I'll have to give it away to somebody. I'm so tired. A five-day summer study program begins today. Attendance is not compulsory, but many people are going because next year we'll be applying to university. I'm only going because my mom told me to. It's also free. Stop walking like that, Hayato. You're making it hotter than it actually is. Yui. I've known Yui since kindergarten. We got along well until primary school, and then she started acting mean to me since around junior high. I don't get why she talks to me if she doesn't like me. Why are you attending this? You're, like, clever. And plus, you already have a tutor, don't you? You don't get it, do you? It's better to come to these to show you're a hardworking student to the teachers. Yeah, but only if you're actually good at studying. The teachers aren't going to think any better of me because of this. You're applying to Nanakuma University, right? Do you think you'll get in? <sighs> Given my current grades, probably not. That's what I thought. Haha, <laughs> funny. Well, if you beg me, I could help you with your studying. What? It would look bad on me if a childhood friend can't get into uni. That's the only reason I'd do it. No need. Why not? Well, that's what I'm here for. Five days won't be nearly enough. Plus, you must be super busy. I'd feel guilty using up your time to help. That's not true. I have so little to do every day, I'm dying of boredom. Sounds like me. Wait, I think you misunderstood me. Morning! Uh... Morning. Morning! Huh? What's wrong? There's something in my pocket. Oh, it's these. What's that? Yeah, it's two tickets for a resort holiday. I wanted a raffle. What's the use of using up all your luck on something like that? Yeah, I try to give it to my parents, but they're busy, apparently. I thought I'd give it to somebody at school. You just said you're dying of boredom, right? Do you want this? Me? You like these kind of things, right? Well, if you insist, I guess I could take it off you. Oh, great! Well, at least I didn't go to waste. Hayato wants to go with me. Morning, class. We're about to start. Take your seats. Yes! That's it for today. If there was something you didn't understand, go over it at home. Any questions, I'll answer them tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm exhausted. And it's still only midday. Hayato, stop looking like a slob. Yui, my energy levels are nearing zero. Can you share me some of yours, please? What the hell are you talking about? Come on, let's go! Huh? Where to? This is a beachwear section of Nanakuma department store. Uh, there's beachwear everywhere I look. Why has she dragged me here? Which do you think is cuter? This pink one or this white one? How am I meant to know? Uh, why are you asking me? Ask your female friends. I'm going to try them on. You stay there. What? This is hell. I can't be left alone here. But I can't just go home either. Is this some kind of prank? Are you done? Wow. Why are you still wearing it? Uh, this is too much. She looks so hot. How am I not meant to have dirty thoughts? You want to see me in beachwear, right? What? That's why you invited me on a resort holiday, right? What? I never said that. What? Do you want this? Me? You like these kind of things, right? Well, if you insist, I guess I could take it off you. Oh, great! Oh, God, she thinks I asked her to come with me. All this time, I've been pretending not to like you, but I was so happy when you asked me to come on this with you. What? I guess we could go after the summer study program, right? I'm so looking forward to it. Y yeah there's more beach where I want to show you. Wait there. Okay. What? What the hell? What's going on? Let me stop and figure this out. I won a pair of holiday tickets at a raffle and gave them to Yui, but she mistakenly thinks she's going with me. All this time, I've been pretending not to like you, but I was so happy when you asked me to come on this with you. What? I guess we could go after the summer study program, right? I'm so looking forward to it. But I thought she didn't like me. Given her attitude, it seems she actually likes me. There was a time in primary school when Yui's parents were thinking of sending her to a different junior high and she outright refused. And that happened again when entering high school. 
Was that because she wanted to be with me? So all that time in junior high when she was being mean to me was actually because she liked me? Ugh! All of this made my heart race because I actually also like Yui. She might be a bit rude, but she's very kind and looks after the people around her. Ever since junior high, I've had a crush on her. Hang on a second, this could just be me being delusional. I have to calm down. Hayato, what's all that racket you're making? Mm, who's at the door? It's still so early and I barely slept. Hayato, Yui's here to pick you up. What? Yui? Morning, Hayato. There she was, smiling at me cutely. So I guess yesterday wasn't a dream after all. Thanks for coming to get Hayato, Yui-chan. It's not just that. I felt I should explain myself properly. Explain, explain yourself. yourself! Yes. I know I'm going on holiday with Hayato-kun and that we're only still high school students. I promise we won't do anything inappropriate. <coughs> Hayato, you invited Yui-chan on a holiday. Well, I see. Interesting. I just wanted to let you know that we'll behave ourselves. I know you're a good girl, Yui-chan. The problem is Hayato-kun. Me? Of course I'm not going to do anything. Plus, it's not like I have the guts to do so anyway. That's not what I meant. Have you told Yui-chan how you feel about her? Um, not yet. That's what I thought. I'll tell her. Just let me change first. I can't believe my mom knew how I felt about her. That's so embarrassing. I told my mom I'd do it. But it's easier said than done. It would be nice if we could do some sightseeing too. I'd like to check out Shurami Aquarium and Shuri Castle. Uh... Are you listening to me? Sorry, what did you say? That's it for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hayato. Um, I, uh... Have somewhere I need to be. What am I doing? But after that, I kept avoiding Yui. Every time I saw her, I'd get embarrassed and end up running away. Tomorrow's the last day of the study program, and next week we're meant to be going on holiday. And I still haven't told Yui how I feel. I have to tell her tomorrow. Oh, she hasn't come to pick me up. There she is. Yui! Yui! That's the end of the study program. Remember to keep studying at home. Enjoy your summer holidays! Yay! Yui! Hayato. There's something I'd like to tell you. I don't want to hear it. Please listen to me. Okay. Those tickets. You were trying to give both of them away, right? What? And silly me. I thought you were inviting me to go on holiday with you. I feel so stupid. Wait. And to make matters worse, I need to talk to your mom. I understand why you don't like me. Yui. Your mother told you to tell me how you really feel, right? You didn't actually mean to invite me on holiday or even like me, right? But you were just too nice to tell me. It's true that I intended to give those tickets to you. That's what I thought. But I was so over the moon to find out that you'd thought I'd invited you and were happy about it. Because I've always liked you. No way! It's true. I thought you didn't like me. I'm sorry about that. I get it now. Yeah, I wanted to be honest with you, but I was just too scared to admit it. I thought you didn't like me, so I couldn't believe you did. Mom told me I should tell you how I actually felt before we went on a holiday, but I didn't know how to. I'm sorry. I see. So, I'd like you to be my girlfriend. Of course, Hayato. I really like you. I promise to be a more honest girlfriend from here on. Me too. I'm going to tell you properly how I feel. I can't believe our first date is a holiday together. Does that bother you? No, I think it's amazing. Me too. After that, the two of us used a resort holiday ticket and had an amazing time in Okinawa. I love you, Hayato. I love you too, Yui. I thought I'd wasted my luck on the raffle win, but it turns out it was the best thing to happen to me. My name is Tatsuya Miyanishi. I'm a first year senior high school student who grew up in a wealthy household. My goal for this year is to make a girlfriend. To achieve this goal, I'm taking action today. We have a committee meeting today. I can't be bothered with it. Yeah, why do we have it every month? It's so unnecessary. True that. Nonsense! Huh? 
committee meetings. My heart just swells thinking about them. Whoops, I'm going to be late. I'll see you there at the library. Mia Nishi's pretty weird, huh? I've heard he's ridiculously rich and that he has servants. Seriously? Is that haircut and glasses popular in the rich world? No way. That's what I thought. By the time I arrived at the library, she was already at her seat. She's the girl of my dreams, Remy Yuikawa. Pretty as always. Yuikawa-san, how about we exchange numbers? Me too, me too! Uh, I'm sorry. Can we wait until we know each other a bit before first? She's so cute! Of course! She was the school it girl, and very popular among boys. And now... She's going to become my girlfriend. <laughs> Without her noticing, I quietly placed a letter on top of her notebook. I wonder what this is. There's something I'd like to tell you. Please come to the back of the school. Huh? Creepy! Remy, there's no way you should go. What? But what if it's a senpai? Okay, then I'll come with you. Me too. Thanks, you two. What? Damn it! I forgot to tell her to come alone! Did you write this? Yes, that is correct. It's a long story, but the point is... Can you make it quick, please? We need to go home. What do you want with Remy? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 the thing is, I've forgotten everything I was going to say. Yes, so I... I, I, I really... I really like... Yeah, the... 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 Girlfriend... Remy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What?! I wasn't speaking to you! There's no way I'm going out with you! No way! Looks like he's actually surprised. Did he seriously think you'd say yes even though you've never spoken to him? Weirdo. Those were the last words I heard from her before she left. I can't believe she called me a weirdo! I don't get it! What's so weird about me? Is it my hairstyle? Or my glasses? Or these Nanagamo shoes? That's impossible! They were chosen by my servants! The two servants we had have been in this house since I was little, and I've never seen them make a mistake. But they are both 70 this year. They could be out of touch with youth culture, I guess. I started to Google the latest fashion trends. I see. So this is what's trending now. In order to get my own back on Remy Yuikawa, I decided to get a makeover. How's this? Yes. It looks good. Thank you very much. I read online that the fastest way to change your image was by changing your hairstyle. So I visited the trendiest hair salon and got myself a cool haircut. I feel like a different person. Feeling great, I decided I would go for a walk in town. What if I get scouted by a modeling agency? Remy Yuikawa will have to like me then. Just then, I suddenly saw her across the street. Oh, that's her! There's no way she'll know it's me, though. I look so good. I know. I'm going to hit on her and surprise her. Hey, pretty girl! Huh? Hang on. That's not what I was expecting. What's your problem? I'm sorry! Are you okay? You're so mean, sis. Well, I turned around and this guy goes, Not what I was expecting. How rude. The girl who was mad at me looked exactly like Remy. I'm terribly sorry. I mistook you for someone at my school. I understand I've upset you. You did nothing wrong. Are you Remy's friend? Yes. And you are? I am. Well, actually, we are Remy's sisters. The girls I'd spoken to were Remy's sisters! The one I mistook for Remy was Ronsan, who was eight years older than me and working. The other two, Ririka-san and Rui-san, were twins and currently at university. They were out shopping today. I'm sorry. I can't believe I snapped at a friend of my sister's. Oh, please don't worry about it. It's not like I know your sister very well. Oh, then why did you speak to me? Uh... Rather than stand around chatting, we headed to a karaoke shop. It was my first time in a karaoke place, and I was feeling nervous. But I told them how I'd been dumped by Remy-chan. So that's what happened. Yeah, yeah you were a weirdo. weirdo. What made you fall for Remy in the first place? You never even spoken to her, right? Does she look like an anime character you like? No. It's true we haven't spoken in high school. But when we were kids, we used to go to the same piano school. We were at different primary schools, 
but our piano lessons were one after the other. That's how we became friends. I used to be quite shy when I was young, but I managed to open up to Remy, who was good at chatting. So when I heard she was quitting piano to take dance lessons, I was devastated. Next week is my last class. I'm looking forward to taking dance class with my sisters, but a little sad I won't get to see you anymore. Me too. I know Remy-chan. When we're older, let's get married. Huh? I'm going to build a castle for you, so let's have a wedding there. A castle? But I need to ask Mommy and Daddy first. I'll tell you next week, okay? I nervously waited for my next lesson. But on the day of the lesson, I got a fever and couldn't attend it. In the end, I never got to hear her reply. Have you told any of this to Remy? No. I was too nervous. Then, then there's, there's no, no chance! chance! Let us help you. Huh? We're gonna help you with your love life and your fashion sense. We're, We're gonna, gonna teach you teach everything, everything you need, you need to, to know. know. I'm surrounded by beautiful women. Boy, I'm nervous. First, you must apologize for asking her out all of a sudden. Um, Yuikawa-san? You again? I'm sorry about last time. I just wanted to remind you who I was. Remind me? I proposed to you once before, when we were little. We used to go to the same piano school. Are you Takun? Oh, you remember! Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. I'm just not used to talking to girls. That's all. I'll see you around. Oh, okay. That's the guy who asked you out, right? He looks different. Maybe he's had a makeover because you called him a weirdo. Oh, but I wasn't talking about his looks. Don't worry about it! Yeah, he was an all-around weirdo. But don't hang around too much. If you talk too much, you'll look sus. I wanted to say more things, but waited for her to approach me first. Before I knew it, it was already the day of our next committee meeting. Hey, Takun. Remy-chan. What's up? You seem tired. I was actually up last night reading this book and didn't get much sleep. I've also read that book. I loved it. Really? Yeah. Before I knew it, I couldn't stop reading it. I feel like I'm lying here. I'm gonna give you a book Remy likes. This way you can tell what she's like. I felt a bit guilty, but it did help liven up the conversation with Remy-chan. I told her the titles of books I liked, and she said she would also check them out. I'm so happy we're getting along! I need to get the sisters a gift! I bought a cake and headed to their house. Hello, Tatsuya-kun. Remy's still at school, I'm afraid. Yes, I know. I'm here to thank you for the other day. So, you managed to apologize to Remy? Yes. We managed to chat about books. I brought a cake. I hope you like it. It looks delicious. Why don't you stay and have some? No. You must be very busy. Come on, don't be shy. Ron-san dragged me into the house. Here you go. Uh, but... Do you need someone to feed you? No, but what if Remy-san comes back? Come on, open your mouth for me. Ah! Takun, what are you doing? Remy-chan! Oh, so you're back. Why are you flirting with my sister? I'm not flirting! With nothing else to lose, I decided to tell her everything. So you got information about me from my sisters, so you can get along better with me? Yeah. I just really wanted to get closer to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? You're such a weirdo, but I kind of get why my sisters want to help you, too. What? I'm gonna forgive you this time, but from now on, let's get to know each other without any cheating, okay? Yes! Eight years since then, Remy's now the same age as I was. After that, Remy and Tatsuya-kun became friends, and eventually, he asked her out a third time and they finally started going out. Today is their wedding day. Who would have thought they actually end up getting married? Yeah! I've always seen him as a brother, and now he's actually becoming her brother! Yeah, when I first met him, he was such a dweeb, but ever since dating Remy, he's become much cooler. I know, right? She's not a gold digger, is she? Stop it, you two. The three of us are going to continue looking out for her. Congratulations, Remy, Tatsuya-kun. I think it was Nanakuma Live. My name is Rihito Yanase. I'm 22 years old. After dropping out from high school, I started working at Nanakuma Construction Company. Mio. That's what I thought. She's prettier than she used to be. What's that? Oh, she's live streaming. I'm a little anxious about watching this, but maybe I'll have a quick look. Hey guys, it's your friend Mio Mio. Wow, 
I don't remember her this full of energy. Mio Mio chan, it's good to see you! I've been looking forward to this! What are these flowers and hearts about? Thank you for all your gifts, guys! I'm sending a heart to Nayu chan! Nakurazai Mori san, thanks for your support! Wink? So gifting is like a tipping feature. What is it? Do you have a boyfriend? Nyanko chan, I wish that were true. Phew, that's a relief! I now have over 20,000 followers on Liver! Wow! Thanks, everyone! Thanks for all your gifts, guys! And thank you for the bazooka, Nakura Zamurai san! And thank you to Nyako san, Ramume chan, Shiro san, Hana san, and Ichi kun! She's really living in a different world for me now. All of this is thanks to you guys! To celebrate reaching 20,000 followers, I'm gonna answer all your questions! I guess it's been five years. Who wouldn't change in that time? Mio used to be my girlfriend in high school. We met in high school and became close while working together as class representatives in the first year, and on the culture festival committee in the second. Over time, I developed feelings for Mio. At the culture festival after party, I have a crush on you, Fujishima-san. After that, we met every day at school, and went home together, and went on dates on the weekends. We hung out with each other at the sports festival, town marathon, school trip, and all manner of other events. It was awesome. I expected us to stay this way, even after we graduated. But all of that changed suddenly. My company's gone bankrupt. You're joking, right? My dad ran a company, and so far, it had been going well. But recently, it faced a number of financial difficulties, and had gone bankrupt. I don't want to cause you any trouble. So I would like you to divorce me. I'll find a way to pay for child support. My dad had found a job working in a factory in Kitakyushu. What are you talking about? These are exactly the kind of times we must stick together as a family. Dad! I'll do whatever I can to support the family! Rihito, you're graduating high school this year. You must finish it. It's fine! I've still got another six months! And paying for school and living costs isn't going to be too much! In reality, I didn't want to move or leave high school. More than anything, I didn't want to separate from Mio. Rihito, what are you going to do about Mio-chan? I've already broken up with her. I didn't want to be a burden on my dad. And I also wanted to help him as much as I could. I'm really sorry, you two. The next day, I invited Mio to the park. Rihito, you surprised me. Is everything okay? Mio... Let's break up. What? I told Mio my dad's company had gone bankrupt, and that we were moving to the countryside. I'm planning to leave high school, and start working to help my dad. But why does that mean we have to break up? I'm about to become a high school dropout, and you're going to university. Our paths are on a different track now. There's no way it's gonna end well. That's not true! As long as we have feelings for each other, we can make it work! I'm sorry. Now's not the time for me to be in a relationship. I want to prioritize my family. It was all a lie. I didn't want to lose her. But I was worried I was going to be a negative influence on her bright future ahead. If that were the case, I thought it would be better if we broke up now. Okay, I understand. Even though it was me who broke up with her, I was shocked by how unaffected she seemed by the breakup. After that, we never spoke again. I guess I made the right choice breaking up with Mio. Good morning! Morning, Rihito! You always look so fresh! At first, the work was hard, and I struggled. But the people around me were all very nice, and I've managed not to quit. Rihito? Did you watch Nanakuma live? Yes! So, was it really your ex? Uh... Yeah. Really? It's so cool that your ex is a super popular streamer right now! I tell everybody! To be honest, I felt kind of deflated that our worlds are so different now. Yeah, I know what you mean. Compared to losers like us, a popular streamer is like another species, huh? Plus, she's at university now, right? Her life's sorted. Hey, stop calling yourself a loser! Our job is just as important and valuable as any other! Yeah. But some people make a living just talking in front of a camera. Time to work, you guys! Yes, yes sir! sir!
That's what I thought. I'm home. Welcome back. I got paid today. So you can use this to pay our bills. Thank you, Rihito. Both my parents and I are working hard to pay off our debts. But we have so much that it's taking a long time. Right. Let's do this. Having said that, I'm currently enrolled in an online course that will help me get my high school diploma. After that, I intend to go to a technical college and study architecture. I wonder if Mio's live streaming today. I was curious to know what she was up to. But I also thought it might depress me, so I hadn't checked on her since the previous time. One day, it's Sakura season. Mio must be graduating university soon. I guess she'll get recruited by some top-level firm. Rihito! You watched Mio Mio's live stream yesterday? No, I haven't. She says she's quitting streaming, and her followers are going nuts! Oh, really? Maybe because she's graduating university and starting work. She said there was something she wanted to do for a long time. And now is finally the time to do it! Something she'd been wanting to do for a long time. I don't remember her saying anything of the sort in high school. I guess it has nothing to do with me anymore. Work has been cancelled today due to rain. I woke up late and was relaxing at home. Who's that? We didn't have a door cam, so there was no way to check who was at the door without opening it. Here I am! Mio! What are you doing here? To get married, of course! What? Achoo! Are you okay? Your clothes are soaking wet! It wasn't raining when I left, so I didn't bring an umbrella. Just come in! Thanks! Here's a towel, and a change of clothes. Thanks, I'm gonna take a shower. Okay, what on earth is going on? Is this what she'd been meaning to do for a long time? Thanks for letting me use your shower. Your clothes are a little big on me. Sorry, shall I get my mother's clothes? No, I like these. I can wash your clothes, but we don't have a dryer here. Don't worry, I have no intention of going home. Mio, you know we're not together anymore, right? Are you hungry? I prepared a packed lunch for us. Let's eat it. Oh, okay. Hmm, this is delicious. So you learned how to cook? Yeah, I practiced lots and got lots of recipes from my followers. I know. You're a super popular streamer, right? You knew? My senpai at work showed me a video of a super popular streamer right now. And it was you. I was so surprised. So, did you watch my live streams? Yeah. Once. Oh. Why did you decide to quit? Um, because... It's really pouring today, isn't it? Oh, Mom! Nice to see you, Mrs. Yanase. Mio-chan, I haven't seen you in such a long time. Those clothes are Rihito's, right? It's not what you think. Mio got wet in the rain, so I lent her my clothes and let her take a shower. I'm here to ask for permission to marry Rihito. What? Mio, I just tried to tell you. We're not together anymore. But that was because your dad's company went bankrupt and you had to leave high school. And you didn't want to be a burden to me, right? Not because you stopped liking me. No, but... So the reason you lied and told us you'd broken up with Mio-chan was because you didn't want us to worry. Mom... You still like Mio-chan, don't you? But I can't leave Dad out to dry. And I don't want to be a burden to Mio. That's why I'm here. What? This is money I've made. I would like you to take it as my dowry. You can use it to pay your dad's debts back. Mio, I appreciate the gesture. But my dad's debts are very high. We've been paying them back for five years, and we still have more than half left. Take a look at the amount. I opened the account book. What is this? That's... A hundred million yen?! I never thought you could earn this much live streaming! Will that be enough? It's more than enough! Oh, thank God! But this is money you've made! I can't take it! Why not? This is why I became a streamer in the first place! But... Let's wait until your dad gets back. Dad came home, and we had a meeting to discuss the situation. So, let me get this straight. You thought that the only way you could get back together with Rihito was to pay back my debts? And that's why you started live streaming? Live streaming. It's when you use app and broadcast yourself live on the internet. So you became a live streamer, made a hundred million yen, and are now here. Not to get back together with Rihito, to marry him. This is my wedding dowry. It belongs to you and your wife now. I promise to be a good wife. As I said, 
This is your money. I can't take it. Please take it. This is why I quit streaming and I promised my parents I would at least finish university. I don't have anything else to give. Mio. Rihito, how do you feel about this? Yes, tell us what you really think, not what you feel you should do. I didn't want to leave high school or move away. And most of all, I didn't want to separate from you, Mio. I couldn't forget about you. And I still like you now. Me too. I'm sorry for separating the two of you. It's not your fault, Dad. Mio-san, it would be an honor if you could take my son as your husband and make him happy. I know he'll look after you. Yes! And it hurts me to say this, but would it be possible to borrow your money? This all belongs to you. No, I promise to return you the money. But all I'm doing now is paying the interest and my debts never go down. That's why I would like to use the money borrowed from you to pay back my debts and free Rihito. Well, if you insist... Thank you so much, Mio-san. Rihito, you don't have to worry about us anymore. From now on, you must focus on living a happy life with Mio. Okay. Thank you. So, you'll take me as your daughter-in-law. There's something I'd like to say before that. Huh? Mio, will you marry me? I would love to. And tomorrow, I'll drive to your house in Tokyo. What? Why? I told you I'm not going home. I'm going to come with you to talk to your parents. Okay. And this is how I ended up marrying a former star streamer, Mio. I wish I could marry a star streamer! Good luck, guys! That day, I visited Mio's parents to ask for their permission to marry Mio. They knew why she'd become a streamer, and were very happy for the two of us. Whatever happens, I'm going to look after you, so let's stay together forever. Me too. I'm never going to let you go. I got my high school diploma, and will start technical college in the spring to study architecture. As long as Mio's by my side, I know I can overcome anything. Thank you, Mio. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye.